biologics came with some of these recoveries. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct... According to a former high-level member of the American intelligence establishment, the United States government has been clandestinely retrieving debris and fully intact spacecraft of non-human origin for decades. It's a narrative reminiscent of the discussions on UFO subreddits and Twitter groups, where contradictory claims and discredited witnesses often circulate, or the plot line for another X-Files reunion run. However, this time there's a marked difference. The whistleblower is supported by a black triangular fighter jet equipped with secret alien technology, along with other high-ranking officers who can vouch for him. The question arises, have scientists reverse-engineered alien technology? What secrets lie within the fabled UFO with the Black Triangle? In this episode, we'll delve into the U.S. Navy's recently revealed mysterious fighter jets that reportedly contain alien technology. Join us as we explore the implications of this disclosure and contemplate what might unfold next in the intriguing realm of unidentified aerial phenomena. Welcome to Universal Narratives. Unidentified aerial phenomena, commonly known as UAPs, have ignited our collective curiosity, sparking an insatiable desire to comprehend their nature and the potential threats they may pose. The shroud of secrecy surrounding UAPs has spawned wild speculations and heated debates, eroding public trust in the institutions entrusted with our safety. However, the landscape is rapidly changing, and the recent revelations by Congress have reignited the discourse about the true essence of this phenomenon. As far back as 1966, President Gerald Ford claimed to have personally witnessed an unidentified flying object, UFO, and similarly, in 1969, Jimmy Carter made a similar assertion. These accounts, along with countless others, compelled Congress to take action, and we are now gaining captivating insights from witness testimonies. The U.S. Congress has not merely acknowledged the existence of UAPs, it is challenging the very core principles upon which the American nation is founded, adding an additional layer of intrigue to the unfolding narrative. In the midst of this astonishing tale stands David Grush, a former Air Force and intelligence official, who boldly proclaims that a shroud of secrecy has concealed all U.S. space and UFO-related programs until this moment. According to Grush, the government has withheld vital information from the public for countless years. What is truly remarkable is that this once guarded subject is now openly debated by Congress, with an unprecedented level of bipartisan unity. The paramount question on everyone's mind revolves around whether the U.S. military has established contact with extraterrestrial spacecraft or beings from distant galaxies and is gradually sharing their interactions with these enigmatic entities. It is almost as if the venerable halls of Congress have been transformed into a stage for unraveling the enigmas of the universe. Nevertheless, the intrigue does not stop there. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has remarkably introduced groundbreaking legislation that demands that the Pentagon discloses any information they have gathered concerning encounters with non-human intelligence and other unexplained phenomena. This legislative move closely parallels a real-life quest for the truth regarding the existence of extraterrestrial life. In a recent congressional hearing, David Grush unveiled yet another astonishing revelation, shedding light on a clandestine program dedicated to collecting and investigating crashed UFOs. One can only imagine the palpable excitement that filled the room as he revealed these secrets. For years, leaked Pentagon videos and first-hand accounts have hinted at aircraft performing maneuvers that defy conventional understanding, captivating the attention of both Congress and the Defense Department. This extraordinary journey began in 2017, when evidence of a covert Pentagon UFO surveillance initiative surfaced, initiated at the behest of former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. In 2020, the Pentagon released three grainy videos featuring UAPs, further fueling public fascination. Another unclassified report surfaced in 2021, revealing unidentified aerial phenomena exhibiting peculiar flight behaviors, leaving no room for natural explanations. Fast forward to 2023, a follow-up and more detailed report emerged, casting a spotlight on over 170 incidents demanding further scrutiny, some featuring seemingly miraculous aerial maneuvers. David Grush continues to captivate us with an even more jaw-dropping assertion, 
hinting at the existence of a secretive program that has been ongoing for multiple decades. He speaks of encounters with entities that are entirely beyond human comprehension, suggesting that the U.S. government has stumbled upon something truly extraordinary. Suddenly, the concept of extraterrestrial life takes center stage, dominating headlines like never before. This hearing, initially triggered by Grush's prior disclosures concerning the clandestine storage of alien spacecraft, has quickly evolved into a platform for him to reaffirm those claims under oath. Despite being denied access to the program's full extent, he bravely divulges what he knows, igniting a nationwide dialogue about the potential existence of life beyond our world. The questions swirling around the U.S. government's possible concealment of evidence related to extraterrestrial life and their advanced technology have both captivated and prompted skepticism among the public. Amid the intrigue, there are voices of caution. Grush's claims, resting on extensive interviews with top-level intelligence figures rather than personal sightings, have drawn skepticism. Journalist and history enthusiast Garrett Graff pointed out that Grush's narrative bears striking resemblance to stories from the 80s and 70s, all claiming the U.S. government harbored long-hidden secrets. However, none of these accounts offered substantial evidence. Nevertheless, Grush maintains his stance. He informed the Oversight Committee that the U.S. government has embarked on a decades-long mission to recover crashed UFOs and unravel their mysteries. He further disclosed that federal authorities had obtained biologics from these extraterrestrial craft. These non-human entities, he asserted, were a significant revelation, sparking genuine contemplation of the existence of extraterrestrial life. But the revelations did not stop there. Grush also disclosed instances where individuals had suffered injuries or adverse effects during government efforts to keep this extraterrestrial matter under wraps. His words weighed heavily in the room, and he expressed concerns about his personal safety for divulging this information. As we found ourselves immersed in this extraordinary hearing, the unfolding events only deepened our sense of wonder and curiosity. With each revelation, we were left pondering what further mysteries lay concealed behind the wall of secrecy. One individual particularly captivated by the unfolding narrative was Congressman Tim Burchett, a Republican who had long been a believer in the existence of extraterrestrial life. He made a straightforward yet compelling point. If there were spacecraft navigating our skies, there must be intelligent beings piloting them, raising intriguing possibilities about the existence of alien life. The assertions made by Grush acted as a spark, igniting an inferno of investigation. However, it was the secret military footage that truly intensified the UFO debate in Congress. These videos not only showcased inexplicable flying objects, but also depicted them performing maneuvers in American skies that defied all conventional understanding, leaving lawmakers and the public alike mesmerized. The testimonies of U.S. Navy aces David Fravor and Ryan Graves added undeniable credibility to these encounters, transforming them from speculative stories into concrete reality. Fravor recounted a perplexing incident from 2004 when he and his team encountered a baffling object hovering in the sky, an encounter that left them profoundly mystified. Graves, a retired Navy pilot, described his frequent encounters with unidentified aerial phenomena along the Atlantic coast over several years, raising both eyebrows and questions. In response, Graves founded a non-profit organization, Americans for Safe Aerospace, aimed at addressing the issue of unexplained phenomena. Over 30 commercial air crews and military veterans joined him, each with their own accounts of inexplicable encounters. This outpouring of shared experiences underscored the widespread curiosity and concerns surrounding these unidentified phenomena. The hearing injected an entirely new dimension into the ongoing discourse about UFOs and potential alien life, with respected witnesses like Fravor and Graves sharing their accounts alongside Grush. The subject had attained unprecedented significance and intrigue. The global fascination with alleged UFO sightings and the astounding claims made by David Grush continued to hold the world's attention. Amid the whirlwind of speculation in the media, cautionary voices emerged. Grush had not personally witnessed aliens or their spacecraft. His claims were founded on extensive interviews with high-ranking intelligence figures. 
skepticism prevailed, and Garrett Graff, an experienced journalist and historian, drew parallels between Grush's narrative and stories from the 80s and 70s, all of which alleged government secrets but lacked substantial evidence. Despite this skepticism, Grush stood by his assertions. He informed the Oversight Committee that the U.S. government had undertaken a decades-long mission to recover crashed UFOs and unlock their secrets. Grush also disclosed that federal authorities had secured biologics from these extraterrestrial crafts, emphasizing their non-human nature. These revelations ignited genuine contemplation about the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Furthermore, Grush shared instances where individuals had sustained injuries or adverse effects while the government maintained secrecy regarding these extraterrestrial matters. His revelations cast a heavy shadow in the room, and he expressed concerns about his personal safety due to his willingness to disclose this information. Thus, we found ourselves immersed in an extraordinary hearing that became increasingly captivating by the minute. Each revelation left us pondering what lay hidden behind the veil of government secrecy. Congressman Tim Burchett, a staunch believer in the existence of extraterrestrial life, emphasized a simple yet compelling point. If there were spaceships navigating our skies, intelligent beings must be piloting them, prompting intriguing considerations about the existence of alien life. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay connected, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to bring you more exciting videos. Join our growing community today and be a part of the adventure.